video is going to show you the exact steps I take in order to make strawberry bloom juice. Links to everything I use is in the description. This formula has been scientifically proven to have the optimal NPK and a video on how I calculated it can be seen on the link on the top right. So we got the formula right here, 40 flora micro, 14 flora grow, 33 flora bloom. We're gonna use this syringe, right? You have just a little bit less than a full gallon of water. This is gonna make up for space that we're gonna add this in. You also want some space so when you shake it, these splashes will help mix it. So 40 milliliters flora micro, that's 501. I'm gonna mix 40 of this, which is two syringes up to here. All right, and you'll see there's bubbles because I shook it. I'm gonna add 20 milliliters. All right, that's the first one. And then 20 milliliters again. You do wanna kind of rinse this in between. So you'll see, I have this water container right here. Now, seal that up. We could pass it down. I'm gonna put the cap on this and I'm gonna shake it pretty aggressively. So now you see it's one solid color. Now, next up we got 14 Flora Grow. All right, that's the green bottle. Again, we're gonna use the same syringe up to 14 right here. You see it's clear. So we're not mixing nutrients. Give it a good shake. This one has a little less. So I'm gonna put it down on its side and bring it up to 14. See, I have it at 15. Let's bring it down right there. That's at 14. Get that little last bit out of there. So again, rinse this in here, do shit out. Tighten it, shake it aggressively. All right. And last one is gonna be 33 of Flora Bloom. It's this right here. Give it a good shake. So we're gonna do 20 and 13. Looks like 13 right there. Okay. All right. So that's pretty much your juice. I'm gonna seal this. Give it one last good shake before we measure the PPM, just to verify. <laughs> All right. And 
this one's my favorite one because you can actually read PPM and pH simultaneously, which is amazing. So we're just gonna have this submerge itself. It's 3650 and we're not feeding the plant this water directly. You're gonna set aside how much water you think your plant is going to drink. So this is about a half a gallon, all right? While your TDS meter is submerged here, you'll see this is at 77. Everyone's tap is gonna be different. If you're using tap, make sure you put some hydrogen peroxide in this and let it sit overnight to let the chlorine evaporate. You also wanna check your water for chloramine because if you have that, it's actually toxic to the fruits. So 76 ppm, we wanna bring it up five to 700. So you see it's submerged. We're gonna add this juice until give it a stir. It's three twenty four. Okay, sometimes even the syringe helps. So it might be just easier at this point because you see we're only like 120 away maybe to just use this french so you saw about 20 milliliters brought it up 50 so we probably need about 40 more milliliters Four seventy-five. That went up like forty on twenty for a half a gallon. Perfect. We are at around 570, which is 500 above what we were on tap. All right. So this is what we're feeding our plant. And to prolong the shelf life of this, you want to add a little bit of hydrogen peroxide. It's about two milliliters. And you want to store it in a cool, dark place. 